Hello everyone, this is Coach Oliver once again. Um, today we'll discuss the Immortal game in the Italian. In our previous video, we actually talked about the basic ideas and traps in the Italian game. And for today, we will show you the best game ever played with the Italian. And here is Steinitz Immortal. Okay. Wilhelm Steinitz, our first ever world champion. He was white against Von Bardelove. It was played in 1895. Here we go. Sardini 4, e5, knight into f3, knight c6, bishop c4. Again, the Italian, right? Attacking f7. Opponent plays bishop c5, that Gioco piano, with that bishop on c5, it's also called the Gioco piano. c3, knight into f6, we discussed this in our previous video. d4, takes on d4, c takes d4. We, we, we call this one the Greco gambit. Bishop b4 check. Knight into c3 instead of bishop d2 as discussed. White here plays knight c3. This is interesting. White actually sacrifices that pawn on e4. Okay, if black grabs that pawn on e4, white castles. Now let's take a look at bishop takes c3 for example. If black captures on c3, white will play d5. Okay, the bishop has to go back to f6. Look into e1, pin, double attack, knight goes to e7, rook takes into e4, castles for example, and then bishop g5. Right? The chances for both sides. And if you capture with knight takes on c3, pawn takes on c3, now if you try to be greedy, takes on c3. There's bishop a3, not allowing black to castle. Now, let's say black doesn't mind. I will take the rook, right? But there's rook e1 check. What do you do? If you go back to knight into e7, this bishop takes e7. And it's gonna be winning for white. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you don't take, for example, you play d5, yes, there's bishop b5, pin on the knight. And if now you take, still rook e1, okay, the bishop protects, bishop e6. Now queen c2, hitting c6, right? Okay, you protect it with queen d7, the knight jumps to e5. What can you do, right? There's a pin on the queen and the king. And it's still winning for white. Okay. So back to the game. Black did not capture an e4, he ran for d5, takes on d5, knight takes d5, castles. Bishop into e6, bishop g5, hitting the queen. Bishop e7 back, takes on d5. Takes d5, knight takes d5. Steinitz just exchanged his pieces. But White's problem is actually that isolated pawn, the IQP on d4. Queen takes d5, takes on e7, knight takes e7. White's compensation, black cannot castle because of the pin, right? f6, nice move by black. Trying to go for king f7, artificial casting, put the rook on e8, and centralize that rook to d8. Queen e2, hitting the knight, queen has to move back. Queen to d7, rook a c1, c6. And here, white plays a brilliant d5 push by Steins. Black should have been careful here. He should have played king f7, right? Although white has an interesting knight e5 here, f takes e5, d takes e5, 
hitting e6, yes. And if you go queen e6, queen f3. You go king g8, rook takes e7. With an unclear position, right? Black is up a piece, but his king is not safe and the rooks are not coordinated. Okay, but back to the brilliant d5 move after rook e5 walked. Two pieces cannot, ca no, sorry, only the pawn can capture because again the queen cannot take on d5 because it's an overworked piece on d7 that's made on e7. Takes on d5 is actually a line clearance for the knight, right? Centralized knight on d4. Black was not worried. Okay, I developed my king. I have rook e8. I have rook e8. But now knight e6. Okay, threatening rook c7 right here. Black was like, no problem. Rook c8, control e open file, control e c7. White continues. Queen g4, knight and queen hitting g7. g6, black was like, okay, safe g6. And this discovered attack, knight g5 hitting the queen. Black is forced to move to e8. And now another brilliant move by Steinus. Rook takes e7, what a shot! Okay, black can capture with queen or king. Now let's take a look at queen. There's rook takes e8, rook takes e8. We have queen takes e8. You cannot go king f7 because of the knight. So queen d8, just take, right? Takes, and I can take all the pawns, or even just knight f3, yes. Up a piece, whole piece, wins. Now let's take a look at king takes e7. King takes e7, I have rook e1 check. Okay, so king goes to d8 to protect your queen, right? Knight e6 check. And it's a win, because if you go back to e7, Knight c5 wins the queen with a discovered check. If you go, for example, d6, king d6, I have queen b4. Let's say you go rook c5, knight has rook e6. If you go back to c7, white has knight e6. You go back to b8, for example, queen f4. Rook to f7, knight takes e7, if you play queen takes e7, rook e8 is made. Wow, too many tactical possibilities. This is just a nice combination yes. by Sinus. Rook takes e7, beautiful combination. But black was very smart, he played king f8. Wow, but... Steins is smarter, rook f7, oh no. Same plan. Again, the king cannot take f7, yeah, because it just... Uh, sorry, queen takes f7 because you just play queen takes c8, yeah, rook takes c8, for example. This queen takes c8, the same as earlier, queen e8, just take queen, right, and then move back. So black played king g8. Well, but... Oh, wow, rook g7. <laughs> Same idea, rook takes g7. Here, you cannot capture with king. Okay, you can capture queen takes g7 because you lose your queen with a check, right? There's no mate on c1. No mate on c1. This is a check. Tempo. Okay, so he played king h8. Rook takes h7. I will follow you. Follow you wherever you may go. King goes back to g8, rook g7, wow, this is just amazing, yeah. If you go king f8, for example, there's knight h7 check. Forcing the capture of the rook, and then up with d7, because if you play king to e8, just queen d7 mate, right, the rook is there. So after rook g7, black went back to h8, but queen h4, sacrifice the rook, takes queen h7. The mating plan after king f8, queen h8. King e7, queen g7 check. King e8, queen g8 check. King e7, queen f7 check. 
And here king d8, queen f8 check. Wow. Only move queen e8, knight f7 check. And king d7, the icing on the cake. Queen d6. Oh. The pretty checkmate, the epaulette mate on d6 with the knight protecting the queen. Checkmate on d6. Beautiful combination by our first ever world champion Wilhelm Steinitz playing the Italian king. Wow, I, I, I have been waiting for games like this uh, in, in today's game, but it's hard, it's hard to find games like this in today's game, like the likes of Tal, Ali Klein. Yeah. We just hope we could turn back time, yes. The ideas were so genuine, so beautiful, so aesthetic. Well, back in the day, back in the day. These days, it's more of computer preparation, some boring draws. Just has lost some of the excitement. But once in a while, okay, once in a while, uh, we, we, still, we still see games, like the games of Rapport, Aronian, Manicharov. But it's totally unlike the games before. Alright, so guys, thank you for watching. I hope you like our video for today. And I hope you keep supporting our channel, Charles Max Chess and Charles Max Entertainment on Facebook and on YouTube. This is Coach Oliver again, once again, stay safe everyone.